This is Twit. Do you know anything about this AMD thing? I this. Yeah. Okay, maybe you could talk to us a bit because this I. Well, I it's very much like this. Spectre and Meltdown. I mean, it, the, it, we get you back to the same old problem, which is that you're making optimizations in in, in caching yeah. that expose potential vulnerabilities. You're trying these long CPU pipelines all have similar problems. Admittedly, right. AMD pipelines are shorter than Intel pipelines, right? Uh, and so you try and pre-position data that might be needed for that pipeline so that it doesn't have to go through a a predictive fashion or whatever exactly speed up the performance and and it doesn't at the cpu level they that all memory is flat so there's no concept of a security boundary on it so the in any of these contexts it's possible for it to fetch data that that a given process shouldn't have a right to access it now these are incredibly to it is hard to describe the vulnerability. It would yeah. be crazy hard to implement a tool that would take advantage of it. But okay. it is the nightmare scenario right. where I could be running a chunk of code in a very restricted environment, but on that CPU and pulling it, yeah, the, bits of yeah. memory from anything else that could be running in that CPU. God knows where it came from, but it's sitting there in the CPU. And exactly. And so yeah. now put that in the context of a cloud, right? Where I can right. set up a VM running in a cloud and I can basically peek into memory of anything else that could be running on that mm-hmm. machine from on any other cloud client. I don't so know. Zen, and somebody's asking what the name of the vulnerability is called Zen bleed. And it is, I mean, and let's not make fun of named after here. the AMDs. No, but I, yeah. I, I will, I will point out one thing. I bet a lot of people forget is that when uh, Spectre meltdown happened several years ago, mm-hmm. uh, AMD, I foolishly and I called them out on this at the time. Yeah, uh, sort of bragged that oh, this doesn't well, this happen. never <laughs> happened to us. Right? Stupid like, Intel. Yeah. So I, this is a belated uh, bit of karma, perhaps. Um, yeah. I really like AMD. I love what they're doing with microprocessors. I'm, yeah, I'm, uh, be careful. Yeah. This is a very, very large glass house and everybody yes, has a this. rock, right? That's it's like, right. come yeah. on. Yep. So uh, it's the same class of vulnerability. It is very unlikely to be exploited, but the consequences if it was successfully exploited can be extraordinarily damaging. And yep. so you got to figure it out. And the price for it's a micro code fix, so which is, is not a- difficult to fix. This is just a proof of concept right now. This is, there's no, no, it's not even a proof of concept. There oh, is okay. a speculative vulnerability based on cache exploitation. Nobody's okay. even built a prototype. There's no, no. zero day. Uh, I'm going to get AI for- going on that. I bet AI there can fill it out, <laughs> figure it out. Uh, the fix will be a microcode update and it will com- it'll impact performance, plain and simple. Just right? like Spectre. So this is minor and meltdown and all yeah, those. Yeah, things. exactly. It's the yep. same class of problem for exactly the same reason, should end up with the same kind of fix, and it's just a hit to performance. So yeah. what happens, that's what happens. And this is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> right. Hey, folks, I'm Ant Pruitt. And what do you get your favorite tech geek that has everything? A Club Twit gift subscription, of course. Twit Podcasts keep them informed and entertained with the most relevant tech news podcasts available. With the Club Twit subscription, they get access to all of our podcasts ad-free. They also get access to our members-only Discord, access to exclusive outtakes, behind-the-scenes, and special content such as AMAs, which I just love hosting, plus exclusive shows such as Hands on Mac, Hands on Windows, and the Untitled Linux Show. Purchase your geek's gift at twit.tv slash club twit and it will thank you every day. <laughs>